What do the names Mary Mallon, Liu Jian Lun, and Edgar Hernandez have in common? Well, over the past few decades, these three are famous patient zeros of different diseases. Mary Mallon became known as Typhoid Mary because she was the first patient in New York City with that disease. Loon was the first person to have SARS, and Edgar Hernandez was patient zero for the swine flu. You know, scientists are always interested to try to find out who that patient zero is of a disease, especially one that has a huge impact on either a region or even the entire world. And many people also kind of want to know that, just so they can see the history of how a disease progressed and traveled from one place to another throughout a region or again, even throughout the entire world. But I want to suggest to you that just as there's a patient zero in things that cause these physical illnesses and sometimes even tragically death, so there's always a tongue zero when it comes to gossip and rumor. There are too many of us who are quick to be that tongue zero, or we at least don't mind hanging around that person, though the effects of gossip and misinformation are really far more devastating than even any disease we could think of. Because gossip can and gossip will destroy a people, not only in this life, but the Bible makes it clear gossip will destroy people for all eternity. A man named Jeff Abrams, from whom I admit I got the idea for this video devotional, wrote these words. He said, Every verbal virus outbreak begins with one sick tongue and one unhealthy heart. End quote. And then he reminds us that it all really starts with the father of lies, who is Satan. Jesus himself said that Satan is the father of lies, John 8 and verse 44. And so when we are hanging around with, well, tongue zero, we're really hanging way too closely with Satan himself. How do we avoid an outbreak? We keep our lips sealed unless we know the facts, and we keep our ears shut to harmful words. We avoid being anywhere near tongue zero, and we certainly make sure we aren't that person. And so today, and every day, let's keep our central focus on keeping our words and our ears pure so that we don't have a gossip pandemic.